Hello, my name is Charlie Will, and I'm a senior systems engineer specializing in EMC here at Tech Data. Today we're going to cover how to provision storage in EMC's VNXE 3100 uh, for a generic iSCSI application. So I have Unisphere up here. Unisphere is the, uh, the, the management interface for the, the VNX line. Go ahead and log in here. Unisphere is loading. And then here we are at the dashboard. All right, so the dashboard we get to see like an overview of the storage that we have, what we have available, you know, what's allocated in the, you know, for various applications. And then we have some common tasks, and a lot of these tasks are, are wizard based. So we'll go over here and create storage for generic iSCSI. We'll run that wizard. We'll see how easy it is. So we're going to go ahead and use a, a convention here that's already existing. And we're going to call this generic zero zero three. Click next. We need to choose um, from a pool of available data that we have to actually present this iSCSI storage. We have two pools. Uh, available for uh, for iSCSI storage. One is Exchange, you know, de obviously dedicated to Exchange. So we're going to use our capacity pool. Go ahead and choose 10 gigabytes. If we wanted to have this a thin uh, volume, we could we could specify that here. Uh, we're not going to do that for this particular volume. We'll be uh, really awesome features of the of the VNXE especially the 3100 because this comes stock with it you know it's not a, not an additional add-on um, is the ability to do snapshots and to configure a schedule for those snapshots right here within the the creation wizard so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do it based on a, uh, on a schedule and there's the default schedule right there, so every day at 4 o'clock and makes a snapshot, keeps it for 14 days. Every day at 12, makes a snapshot, keep it for 14 days. What we're going to do is we're going to change it to a schedule that we have predetermined. That's a little bit more, um, you know, in, in line with the with the policies of, of, of our business. So it's possible to be able to customize that snapshot schedule, you know, even right down at the LUN level that you want uh, you know based on based on your needs go ahead and click next we have to create a pool a protection pool for those snapshots and it automatically happens here and we can adjust the size if, if you know if the size of the storage increases or if we or if we did it as a thin volume Finally, we have to actually present this storage to a server. So, as, as a default, when we create a, a virtual volume or a volume here, uh, it has access to no servers. It's called none masking. So, what we have to do is choose what servers we want to present the volume that we're creating to. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and take the, uh, the virtual disk and present it to server E. Then, for our snapshots, we're going to present those to, to server A, our backup server. And if server C were our second backup server, we could also you know, present that snapshot there. Go ahead and click Next. And then here is a, uh, a review of the settings that we just did before we, we can take a look at it before we commit the changes. Go ahead and click Finish. Some stuff happens in the background. And our iSCSI storage volume is created. So yes, it's that easy. Very easy to do. So thank you for uh, for watching. Uh, we have more videos in this series, so feel free to watch on. Thank you very much.